Ah, some of you were wondering what I gonna come up with next. I figured I just gonna stay on the mission of this channel. I gonna answer questions no one asked and uh, offer solutions to problems no one has. Like the question, can you print PLA on top of uh, ABS and will it stick? Yes, you can. Don't know why you would. And you could get that answer by just Googling it. So I figured there must be a better way of attacking this. And I thought, this hated device stirs up so much commotion and really splits the users in uh, essentially in three tribes. Just use a washer, people, people who don't use it, and uh, no one else. And I get it. Like user Kayo Senon in the comments said that no one talks about this attachment because it essentially is a piece of shit. He didn't really phrase it that way, but I get it. It is impractical. It is really not cool that you have to, that you can't like change your filament without taking it all off and everything. It's kind of a stupid afterthought and it's not well made. And my early excitement about it got a little bit of a damper lately. So I thought, how could we improve upon it? Because other users, like for instance, spool samples, Print Co mentioned that the washer solution with the increased friction on the spool holder could lead to issues by uh, when you print TPU and it stretches the filament and then you get probably under extrusion because it gets too thin and yeah I have not printed TPU yet but there seems to there seem to be issues. I don't think that there's one perfect solution for every situation because if that would be the case we wouldn't have to modify our printers in the first place, wouldn't we? So I put my thinking cap on and um, thought, what essentially is the issue with this device? Besides that they made this too short, but I addressed that already in the last video. So the main issue is that when this is in place, you can't change your spool without taking it out. And it is very annoying. I understand. It's a pain in the ass. It's a stupid design. So what Zorwol should have done is provide a one-arm solution with just one piece so you can take the spool out. Wouldn't that be possible? So I made one. This bit has the same kind of shape here and then you click it on and your spool sits somewhere like that. And since I fucked up my measurements, that didn't work. So I adjusted it. Like this one. That actually does work. And I'm going to show you that on the printer. And we are back. Um, let's unplug this thing for a second. I can turn this around. So, there you go. So you could use this solution, this design, and then it goes on Something like this. You have to stand right, otherwise that does not really work. And then it clicks on like that, longer arm, and there we go. Lift that up, can change your spool. All cool, but clip-on solution, you know, still wobbly, and then it also is kind of tight, so it still impedes a little bit on the rollability of the of the spool holder so I thought there should be something that could potentially stay in place and you just take this off if you don't want to use it and then you put it on if you need it and the rest is more permanently attached. So let's get rid of this thing and take this. My design. Single arm Bolt on. I show you. Take off the spool. No worries, you can put it on later. Take off this bolt. God damn it, that worked way better when I tried it out first. Stupid camera effect. Come out, you thing. There we go. So there's a recessed hole in the back. 
and here in the front is a pin that fits exactly into this recess. Put in bolt, bolt through. <laughs> this thing can spin freely. You can put your spool on. Click on the arm and you can exchange the spool without having to take anything off. I think that's not a bad solution. There might be people who like it and then there will be people who don't. But that's the point. We should offer options so you can find the right solution for your situation. I'm gonna put this up on printables now that they actually let me upload stuff. There's apparently some kind of a curfew for new accounts. So I'm gonna put that up on printables together with this arm in one file and people can remix it. I kept it all simple, just like the other designs. There's no chamfers and no bullshit on it. It's all square, regular pads and easy holds, nothing special. And if people want to change it, they can. Maybe they can even fit it to other printers, I don't know. But I think this is a fair, fair solution to have. Solid. Works. Yeah. See you next time.